Hello, I'm Doug Conant, and I'd like to share with you some of my credentials for contributing to the conversation on leadership in the 21st century. In 10 years, 70% of the workforce will be made up of millennials and Gen Xers. And our job now is to share with them the lessons we've learned and to help them find a way to incorporate what works for them in their lives as they go forward. My observation was that there were lots of people commenting on the leadership requirements for the 21st century, but very few of them who have actually lived that leadership journey they were people who had studied the journey and who were opining on it in very smart and thoughtful ways but had not walked a mile in the shoes of all the thousands of people that were in the workplace. I've been in those shoes. I started at the very bottom of the corporate ladder and climbed to the very top over an extended period of time, 40 years. And so I feel uniquely positioned to contribute to the conversation, not to replace other voices, but to complement them and create a context for decision making in the corporate world that's anchored in a spirit of been there, done that, not just studied that. I understand what it takes and I know what it takes to be effective in an organization that's facing all kinds of pressures. If you have a high trust team, a high trust culture, you can, it feels as if you can get almost anything done. If you don't have trust embedded in the organization, even the most mundane tasks can seem to take forever and seem to fall short. Be tough-minded on standards and tender-hearted with people. As a corporate executive, you have to be tough-minded on standards. You have no choice or you're out of a job or out of business. At the same time, 999 of the decisions made in a day are made when you're not in the room. So the people working for you and with you need to be carrying the water and they need to feel valued. The more we focused on creating a winning high engagement workforce, the better we did in the marketplace. The better we did in the marketplace, the more impact we had in terms of our community-based program, helping to build a better world. And as we built a better world, our employees got more engaged in the work, and we did better in the marketplace. If someone's ready to engage with you, you need to take advantage of it. Every interaction you have, you bring a how can I help mentality to the work, and then you do three things. You listen intently to what's said and not said, you frame the conversation in a way that says, okay, I understand the issue, it's your issue, my issue, or our issue, and here's how we can advance it. Listen, frame, advance. You can have powerful leadership connections in the smallest of moments, and we're in a world that is filled with interruptions. I'm here to tell you that in the future, these interruptions will become your work. 